So the counterpart to a public blockchain is naturally a private blockchain. Uh, these are platforms like Hyperledger or Hashgraph. And private blockchains are more specifically known as permissioned blockchains. When we talk about a private blockchain or when you hear folks talking about private blockchain solutions, they tend to be talking about things on the private and closed end of the spectrum. We want to control who can write data to this blockchain and we want to control who can read data from this blockchain. And in order to do that, the first step is identity. Uh, if we don't know who a user is, it becomes difficult, if not impossible, to define rules about what data they can commit to the ledger and what data they can consume from the ledger. Um, so when we talk about private blockchain, just think about a permission blockchain, a blockchain which right from the beginning is an idea of who you are. And this is very different from a public platform like Ethereum. Uh, in which the platform tries to protect and maximize anonymity and we by design don't know who a user is unless we build in that kind of identity management scheme. Private blockchains tend to come with identity management tools or a modular architecture where you can plug in your own identity management solution. Uh, this can be anything from an active directory deployment uh, to an OAuth solution using Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, in, etc. Uh, just understand the idea behind a private blockchain all begins with understanding who a user is because once we understand who a user is we can determine what role they're in and we can use that role to determine what information should they and should they not have access to. Uh, this also changes the incentive for good behavior a little bit. In a public blockchain, because we don't know who a user is, we rely on economics and game theory incentives to ensure that everybody in the system behaves honestly and according to the rules. Um, we set up situations through group consensus, which we discuss in other sections in this course, uh, through which Honest participants are economically rewarded, where dishonest ones only incur work or cost with no possibility of ever recouping that cost. In a private permission blockchain, we rely on the fact that we know who a user is. Uh, so in a corporate scenario, blockchain for the business, blockchain for supply value chains, uh, because we know who an individual is, what organization they're associated with, and what their role is, we also assume that they're going to behave fairly above board because if not, um, we know exactly who's misbehaving and they know that they're going to suffer the consequences for that. Um, so public and private blockchains, two very, very different offerings. A lot of people uh, make the impression, get the impression that they compete with one another uh, when really they don't. They just serve to provide different types of solutions and enable different kinds of um, products and offerings to be built on top of them.